The Black Sea Devil, scientifically known as Melanocetus johnsoni, is a deep-sea anglerfish that inhabits the dark depths of the ocean, typically between 1,000 to 3,000 meters below the surface. This elusive creature is rarely observed in its natural habitat, making sightings exceptionally rare and noteworthy. One of the most distinctive features of the Black Sea Devil is its bioluminescent lure, or esca, which protrudes from its head. This glowing appendage, powered by symbiotic bacteria, serves as a beacon in the pitch-black environment, attracting unsuspecting prey directly into the fish's cavernous mouth lined with sharp, fang-like teeth. Females of the species are significantly larger than their male counterparts, a phenomenon known as sexual dimorphism. While females can reach lengths of up to 18 centimeters, males are much smaller and lack the bioluminescent lure. Interestingly, unlike some other anglerfish species where males become parasitically fused to females, male black sea devils are free living and do not exhibit this behavior. Adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep sea, the black sea devil has a soft, scaleless body that can withstand immense pressure. Its dark coloration provides camouflage in the abyssal environment and its large distensible stomach allows it to consume prey nearly as large as itself. Despite its fearsome appearance, the black sea devil is a passive predator, often remaining motionless and conserving energy until prey approaches its lure. This sit-and-wait strategy is an efficient adaptation to the scarce food resources of the deep ocean. The black sea devil's unique adaptations and elusive nature continue to intrigue scientists and marine enthusiasts alike offering a glimpse into the mysterious world of deep sea life. The goblin shark scientifically known as Mitsukarina ostoni is a deep sea marvel, blending prehistoric origins with extraordinary adaptations. As the last living member of a 125 million year old shark lineage, it prowls continental slopes at a 100 to 1200 meters depth. Its most shocking feature is a hydraulic-like jaw that rockets forward at 3.114 meters per second to snatch prey, an evolutionary solution to its slow swimming speed. This ambush strategy is aided by a blade-shaped snout packed with electroreceptors that detect faint bioelectric signals in the darkness. The shark's pinkish translucent skin revealing blood vessels beneath provides perfect camouflage in the abyss. Its flabby low muscle body conserves energy in the high pressure depths, while an unusually small liver suggests unique buoyancy adaptations. Unlike active hunters, it employs a sit and wait strategy, relying on stealth rather than speed. Rarely encountered by humans, each specimen offers scientists priceless insights into deep sea evolution. The goblin shark's mix of ancient traits, like a primitive skeletal structure and specialized hunting tools, extendable jaws, electro-sensing snout, make it a living fossil that's perfectly tuned to its extreme environment. These adaptations have allowed it to survive virtually unchanged for millennia, dominating a niche where few predators can thrive. Its existence underscores the ocean's capacity for producing truly alien yet highly effective life form. The Dumbo octopus, scientifically known as Grimpotuthis sp, is a mesmerizing deep-sea dweller that inhabits the ocean's most extreme depths, surviving pressures that would crush most organisms at up to 7,000 meters below the surface in near-freezing darkness. This ethereal creature, named for its distinctive ear-like fins resembling Disney's Dumbo, uses these specialized appendages to fly through the water with elegant, energy-efficient movements a vital adaptation in the resource-scarce abyss. Its remarkably soft, gelatinous body withstands the crushing weight of the deep ocean while allowing it to squeeze into narrow crevices for protection from predators. Unlike its shallow water relatives, the Dumbo octopus lacks an ink sac, instead relying on its extraordinary ability to instantly change color and texture to blend seamlessly with its surroundings a disappearing act perfected over millennia in the lightless depths. Perhaps most fascinating is its reproductive strategy. Females carry multiple eggs at different developmental stages, enabling them to reproduce opportunistically whenever conditions become favorable in the unpredictable deep-sea environment. This combination of traits, 
from its graceful fin-powered locomotion to its pressure-resistant physiology and flexible breeding biology, makes the Dumbo octopus a masterclass in deep-sea adaptation. Both delicate and durable, this otherworldly cephalopod continues to captivate marine biologists as a symbol of life's incredible ability to thrive in Earth's most inhospitable realms, proving that even in perpetual darkness, evolution creates creatures of astonishing beauty. The deep-sea dragonfish scientifically known as Stomiodi reigns as the ultimate abyssal predator, a nightmare of evolutionary adaptations honed over millennia. Its razor-sharp, nearly transparent teeth become invisible in the crushing darkness, striking prey before they detect danger. The dragonfish's unhinging jaws open to a grotesque 120-degree angle, capable of swallowing victims half its size whole, an essential adaptation in the food-scarce depths. This master of deception employs a multi-sensory hunting strategy. Its signature bioluminescent lure pulses hypnotically from a chin barbel, mimicking small prey. More terrifying is its ability to produce invisible red bioluminescence, a private hunting light undetectable to most deep-sea creatures. Complementing this, its ultra-black skin absorbs 99.5% of light through specialized melanosome structures, making it vanish in the abyss. Even its digestive system evolved countermeasures. Black stomach lining neutralizes the glow of consumed bioluminescent prey. The dragonfish's life cycle reveals equally disturbing adaptations. Males transform into permanent sexual parasites, tiny, toothless, and stomachless. They fuse to females, their bodies gradually atrophying into nothing but attached gonads. This ensures reproduction in the vast, empty depths where mates rarely meet. From its light absorbing skin to its expandable jaws, Every feature serves one purpose, silent, efficient predation in Earth's most hostile environment. The dragonfish isn't merely a predator, it's the embodiment of the deep sea's ruthless efficiency, a living lesson in evolutionary perfection that has dominated the abyss for millions of years. Deep sea snailfish boast soft, jelly-like bodies and translucent skin, sometimes revealing their inner workings. This seemingly fragile form is actually a clever adaptation, with a gelatinous substance enhancing buoyancy and protecting against extreme pressure. This replaces the swim bladders of shallow water fish, which would collapse in the crushing depths. This gel also allows for energy-efficient growth in the food-scarce deep. Their scaleless, sometimes slimy skin adds crucial flexibility helping them withstand immense pressure by distributing force evenly and reducing friction. Some species inhabit the deepest parts of the ocean, where pressure is over 1,000 times that at the surface. Their survival here is due to cellular adaptations like flexible membranes and high concentrations of TMAO, a compound that stabilizes proteins. However, there's a depth limit around 8,200 meters due to TMAO's osmotic effects. Snailfish often have large heads, soft skeletons aiding pressure tolerance, and small eyes, compensated by sensory jaw chambers that detect prey movement in the dark. Many have a suction disc, a modified pelvic fin used to cling to surfaces or even for unique reproductive strategies. Interestingly, this disc can be reduced in the deepest dwellers where adhesion needs are less. These delicate-looking fish prey on small crustaceans and other invertebrates, using large stomachs to maximize intake when food is available and employing suction feeding technique. The tripod fish, scientifically known as the Thiptrawi gralator, is one of the ocean's most extraordinary deep-sea adaptations, a master of stillness that has evolved to literally stand on the abyssal plain at depths of up to 4,000 meters. This bizarre creature perches motionless on three elongated, rigid fin rays, two modified pelvic fins and one extended tail ray that can grow longer than its body, forming a living tripod that elevates it above the sediment. Though it begins life in a larval appearance, Drifting freely in the open ocean, it later develops its distinctive legs as it matures and sinks to the deep sea floor. In the perpetual darkness where light never penetrates, its vestigial eyes are nearly useless, forcing the fish to rely instead on extraordinarily sensitive elongated pectoral fins that function like underwater antennae, 
These delicate appendages detect the faintest water movements, allowing the fish to snatch passing plankton and small crustaceans with remarkable precision. The tripod fish's entire physiology is optimized for energy conservation in this food-scarce environment. Its hermaphroditic reproductive system ensures it can reproduce even in complete isolation. Its semi-transparent body and neutral coloration render it virtually invisible against the seafloor. And its reduced musculature and specialized swim bladder allow it to withstand crushing pressures while maintaining perfect buoyancy. By standing perfectly still in deep sea currents with its sensory fins outstretched, this evolutionary marvel has perfected the ultimate ambush strategy. A predator that doesn't chase but waits patiently for food to come to it. Embodying nature's incredible ability to adapt to even the most extreme environments through ingenious biological solutions. Xenophyophores represent one of the ocean's most extraordinary biological paradoxes. Single-celled organisms that grow up to 20 centimeters wide, ranking among Earth's largest individual cells, yet thriving in the deepest, most inhospitable marine environments between 500 and 10,000 meters where they endure crushing pressures and perpetual darkness. These multinucleated giants manage their enormous size through numerous nuclei distributed throughout their cytoplasm, while constructing elaborate mineralized tests, shells by cementing together deep-sea sediments, mineral particles and skeletal remains of other organisms into intricate architectures that resemble alien cities on the seafloor. Within these protective structures, they accumulate stercomata, pellets of concentrated waste material that form bizarre strand-like formations called stercomires, which intriguingly sequester heavy metals like lead and uranium through processes scientists still don't fully understand. Their cellular fluid contains barium sulfate crystals, barite, whose purpose remains mysterious, adding another layer to their peculiar biology. Far from being solitary oddities, xenophyophores serve as ecosystem engineers. Their labyrinthine tests create microhabitats that support diverse communities of deep-sea organisms, including nematode worms, crustaceans and even fish eggs, significantly enhancing local biodiversity in otherwise barren abyssal plain. By constantly processing sediments, they physically and chemically alter their environment influencing nutrient cycles and the distribution of other benthic species. These remarkable protists embody nature's capacity for extreme adaptation, demonstrating how life not only survives but actively shapes one of Earth's most punishing environments through a combination of biological innovation and ecological influence that continues to challenge our understanding of cellular complexity. The ping-pong tree sponge, scientifically known as Chondrocladia lampidoglobus might look like a quirky underwater plant, but it's a deep sea predator with a dark side. Standing tall on a slender stalk, it sports balloon like spheres that resemble ping pong balls. These aren't just for show, they're deadly traps. Covered in tiny hooks called spicules, they snare unsuspecting crustaceans drifting by in the deep ocean currents. Once caught, the prey is slowly digested by the sponge's cells, a process that can take days. This sponge doesn't have a stomach. Instead, it relies on this slow, methodical digestion to survive in the nutrient-scarce depths. Living at depths of around 2,700 meters 8,860 feet, it's adapted to the cold, dark, high-pressure environment of the deep sea. Its unique tree-like structure not only aids in capturing prey, but also provides shelter for other deep-sea organisms, making it an integral part of its ecosystem. Interestingly, when first discovered in 1960, its unusual appearance led some to believe it was a man-made object, possibly a surveillance device. It wasn't until later that scientists recognized it as a living organism. The ping-pong tree sponge reproduces both sexually and asexually, releasing eggs and sperm into the water and also producing buds that grow into new sponges. This dual strategy ensures its survival in the challenging deep-sea environment. Despite its eerie feeding habits, this sponge plays a crucial role in the deep-sea food web, both as a predator and as habitat. Its discovery has provided valuable insights into the adaptability and diversity of life in one of Earth's most extreme environments. 
Thanks so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and if you feel I missed any other topics you'd like to see covered in a future video, definitely let me know in the comments below. And I read every single suggestion. Also consider subscribing for more and also am having tuna mac and cheese for Donner. Oh I meant dinner, lil bro, hehe. <laughs>